Well, I'm a fanatic. I'm a, I'm a fanatic printmaker, um, an evangelist for printmaking. I'm not a bit of a printmaker. I'm a bit of a <laughs> printmaker. Um, and to be able to pass those skills on to other people um, is just delightful. I love it myself. You know, there is nothing still, even after 35 years of peeling back a, a, a proof, it's still, it's still got some sort of magic, some kind of alchemy in there. And to be able to pass that on to other people and for other people to make that connection and for them to have their eureka moment with printmaking and if I've had something to do with that, well, that, I mean, you know, what could be better in life? What could be, you know, more fulfilling? So Chris uh, contacted me. He was looking for other um, people, you know, skilled um, artisans in the area. Bookbind has got very, obviously, very connected with printmaking. You know, make, obviously you can print the illustrations for your book. Um, and then you've got to sew it all up and create, create a book at the end of it. So I think that he thought that the, the two disciplines were sat together very well. Um, we got on very well. He's a lovely guy. And uh, so, yeah, he invited me to come and teach some workshops at Black Pig. Uh, the workshop's really well equipped. It's... Um, it's got everything that I need, so he's here. We discussed it before I started teaching there, what, what equipment I would require, and he made sure that it was there. Um, I bring the book binding tools, but he has the main, the presses, and the workbenches, and space for paper, and cutting paper, and you know all the, all the big equipment that I can't carry myself. Um, he's very accommodating, very helpful. I love, I, I sit on my own at home with the radio and sometimes the dog and so it is lovely to get out and ha talk to other people and once you've got them enthused about bookbinding you can bore each other rigid about bookbinding <laughs> techniques and, and, and yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice to get out with people who are enthusiastic and people come away, it's very satisfying to come away with a complete book. Well, what we're trying to do is the problem is, the problem with... Um, higher education is that people are leaving uh, are, are leaving college with a 50 grand debt and not being able to make an etching yeah so we're just trying to redress that balance uh, towards vocational skills but in a kind of a community context whereby you've got professional printmaking artists working against uh, working next to people who who are just doing it for a hobby and that kind of professional practice rubs off and so it means that everybody no matter what they want to do with what they've got they they leave with professional practice that even if they've just got a wooden spoon on the kitchen table what they produce looks professional the ethos of black pig is professional practice from beginning to end whether whether you're whether you're starting out or whether you're whether you're um a very practiced and professional artist and also you see we can we, we it is here for people to audition prints as well you know but we've got all of these books here it's a space that's that encourages people to hang around have a drink and have a talk and uh, um, it's just a kind of a it's, it, it's a place with a great community atmosphere for people to to meet and discuss ideas as well as make great work I have always loved art um, and I was in America for seven years at college and I was doing it there and then I came back here and I haven't done it for so long because what I do is I play music and I wanted to take it up again so I found this course online and I just had no idea that a little pod like this for everything you need existed in Froome and I'm only about ten minutes outside of Froome so it just sort of works. <laughs> I'm Virginia Brooke. Um, I came here to Froome a couple of years ago from Scot one in Scotland and this is because I love woodwork I've done a little bit of woodwork in the past this is a an interesting new way of working with wood basically that's really all it is um, I'm not very good at it I thoroughly enjoy it and I like all, all people I meet here and it's, it's just great
I just come to really enjoy doing wood engraving. I used to do wood engraving quite a few years ago and I just found out that uh, there was a class locally which I was thrilled about really so I could take it up again. Oh it's absolutely brilliant. I mean you can see the whole workshop, there's everything here. And it's just really relaxing because it's just the right environment to be working in. My training's in classical music so um, this is quite different but I've always admired engraving as book illustrations and thought how beautiful they are and um, you know flicking through the adult education brochure in Froome I saw it and thought wow I'd love to try that um, Chris is a very kind teacher and I feel that he meets me where I am you know right at the beginning but without making me feel that I'm a total um, novice at this um, He's a generous sort of teacher, but yeah, don't don't tell him I told you that because he'll get a big head. You get people that haven't been coming as long as others. Some have been coming for quite a long time. I've been coming for over a year, um, and some of the others haven't been coming quite so long. And if Chris is busy, then it's quite nice that people do feel they can just say, you know, how do I do this, or can you help me with that? If you can't, you just say, no, I can't. You'll have to wait and ask Chris. But it is quite nice that we all help each other out if we can. But and of course, we're all doing different things. So we can all, you, you know, somebody might be doing different marks and you say, well, how do you do that mark? Can, can, can you show me on yours while you're doing it? And it, um, it works out very well. Um, I'm doing here because it's winter and I wanted to get out and there's less and less um, community ed around. And I always looked, because I come from Wales and there's nothing going on there. And um, I looked on, Froom website because there's always things going on in Froom and I found this so um, I decided to come. Uh, that will be done with a graver. Okay so a graver in this case I'm using it over my finger and working like that look see. Yeah I think I'm pressing too hard. Hard at it and you do it so finely. I have had a bit of practice. Yeah I know I know. It's uh, extremely rare to be able to use a uh, uh, workroom studio like this and um, before you know as I think somebody else said we were in uh, uh, an environment which was, wasn't sort of custom built but it, it makes you feel uh, more workmanlike, more focused, uh, all the facilities are at hand, it's uh, a great learning environment so I just think we're really lucky to have it here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. Is that all yes, you're working yes, towards because yes. you've already outlined some. them so that's lovely. Fine so you shines. can't go wrong. Yeah, so we'll try and with then that. Just sort of, and, and if you do um, them in little sort of half circle, yeah, you know, sort of where you've got that rounded bit, sort of do them, in, keep that in there. Keep yeah, that in keep there, the flow of the... And it looks yeah, as though sure, you've got... Yeah, and it, I think it looks really good. Yeah.